Hello, sweet veggies! Today we are talking about commissions again because that's what I have been drawing lately. So, we, we are gonna do a few more videos on the commissions I have done until now. So, today, what am I drawing? And D and D character. Most of my commissions were D and D characters, and like I love them because they have just this magical fantasy vibe to them, and I love drawing them. So yeah, keep commissioning me D and D characters. I love it. This one is a bard. I know that bards ha it have something to do with music, but I am not familiar to the D and D world, so don't don't take my word for it. Don't take my word for it. I really don't understand much about this whole D and D thing. I just know I love the characters. The first video on commissions I did, it was a D&D character too. I don't know if I mentioned it in the video. I know, I don't know. They are just, they are so pretty. They are so fantastical. It's, it's just my vibe, okay? Keep commissioning me them. <laughs> this was the first and only commission I've got through Instagram. Instagram gives me no clients really, only Twitter. Uh, right now, I have like a thousand and a hundred followers on Twitter and 120 followers on Instagram. I'm about on those num numbers. And like, I have been active on Twitter for like two, three months, not more than that. And I've been on Instagram since I was on ninth grade. I, I'm going to 12th grade this year. You get what I'm saying? Instagram, it's not for me. It's not for me. <laughs> I was so surprised that someone actually commissioned me on there. Like, I was not expecting it, but I'm really glad it happened because I loved so much drawing this character, like, I loved it. The commissioner was super nice as usually, uh, as usual. I don't know how, how I am so lucky because all my clients have been amazing until now. Like, they are so kind, they are so nice, I love them. <laughs> And I really think this drawing turned out very good. And one of the reasons for it was the client giving me artistic freedom. Th that's the secret. Commission commissioners out there who are listening to this, give your artist artistic freedom. And I swear to you, it will turn out great. At least it will with me. So if you want to commission me, you know, give me some freedom. <laughs> like the client gave me general ideas and basically told me to uh, do whatever you want from there. Um, they gave me like, uh, they told me to draw a sleeveless, like a top that follows the body uh, I don't know the word for that right now. It doesn't matter. You can see it. I think that's enough. <laughs> they also told me to draw baggy pants on the character to allow more m movement. Because as you see, they have so uh, swords. I don't know the pronouns of the character, so I'm just going to say they. <laughs> uh, they have swords. I believe they fight in some kind of way. So the baggy pants that allow movement was important for this character and they also gave me a color palette like warm tones in general like red orange yellow and uh, the skin you can see it right now but it's like lava it's like a dark gray with like lines of 
orange and yellow. You'll see soon what I'm talking about. And I, th I actually think it was the first character like I fully illustrated with a non-natural skin tone. Still, I love it. Also, the swords, I think they are called harpiers. I'm not sure, I might say this wrong. If some sword expert is watching this, tell me in the comments because I have a nor an, an horrible memory. I actually loved drawing the swords. I was like, when the person told me to draw it, I, I thought, I'm gonna hate this, am I not? <laughs> but when I actually got to drawing them, it was, it was fun, it was a different experience and I'm really glad the person told me to because it was a new and I liked it. Um, I should have charged more for the swords though. I priced the same as a character without any like accessories like swords are very detailed jewelry and I shouldn't have done that <laughs> I shouldn't have charged more but it's all right it was it was my one of my first commissions so it's normal to make mistakes and I had lots of fun with it so it's okay I don't know if you can notice but I'm like not recording in chronological order like I did this illustration a month ago I think and the video from last week, I did it, I'm, it was like two weeks ago. This, so in the style, the, the improvement you're seeing is absolute, absolutely non-consistent. <laughs> I'm sorry to tell you, but like, it's a mess because I just, I look at the drawings I've made and I, and I think, okay, which one do I want to talk about? And sometimes that's not chronological order and that's all right. <laughs> this is something I don't usually talk about, but I loved looking for references on this drawing. I, I don't know why, but I just, I liked it. Uh, like I liked look, looking for the baggy pants and finding a style that I think would fit the colors and the style of the character because then again that was that artistic freedom that I could look for something that I would think would fit this character so I really loved looking on Pinterest like for the top I looked for futuristic tops because it really gives me that vibe and I try to incorporate stuff that I think would just fit the character and I had lots of fun with it so I love doing commissions really <laughs> uh, I hope it can be like a full-time thing just like YouTube I love doing this I love being a content creator and sharing my drawings I hope I can do this like for a, for a job like professionally I hope I can do it now <laughs> tell me what you think about this video format you know the the yellow thing with my character Reina I think it gives more personality to my videos, like it's a bit more me, I don't know, tell me what you think if you liked this, I think it can like, it reminds the person that's watching that it's me, <laughs> you know it's pretty, <laughs> and tell me what you think about it, it's gonna give me a lot of work if I ever change the character that symbolizes me like right now it's Rina but and I'm writing a comic about her and her story but it's like uh, her comic is on standby and I'm writing the comic for other characters that I have never drawn yet okay I have drawn one of them once in my sketchbook like traditionally but I haven't done any digital illustration of them and if I ever, which I probably will, <laughs> change my the character that represents me 
it's gonna be so much work because I gotta change every profile pic on every social media. I gotta change the end card of my YouTube videos. I gotta change that yellow thing, even though it's so pretty. I, th I think it's worth, I think it's worth the, the amount of work it's gonna give me in the future. So it's all right. <laughs> I scripted this video, by the way, just like I did with the last one. You probably heard me flip pages through this. So tell me what you think. If it sounds more consistent, like if you liked it, please tell me. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Thank you for watching until the end because I've, I've said this so many times, but not many people do that. Tweet me at PrinkyDoodles. Like you can DM me on Instagram, I guess. Or comment below if you have video ideas or any questions. I could make like a Q&A for commissions if you are interested in that. Even though I have done like only 10 commissions, but some people have done none. If you want me to answer your questions on that, I would gladly do it. So question me. <laughs> also, shout out, shout out. That's, that's how you say it. I think that's how you say it. Let's keep it like that. To my Portuguese teacher who watches my videos, like she's one of the best teachers I ever had, if not the best. So I just love her. Thank you for watching this. I love you, teacher. <laughs> and don't forget to eat your vegetables, as usual.